Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name is Nerdy, and this is another episode of Reactions to One Piece. This is episodes eight and nine. It's been a minute for me watching. I know that they've been going up every Thursday. I've been consistent about that, but I pre-watched a bunch of stuff for the roleplay relay, and now it's been a couple of weeks, which is hard because I left off in the middle of Luffy and Buggy's first like real big battle. And I've been itching to get back into it. And now I finally can. I finally have the time to watch the show again. And I'm so excited. So we're going to dive right into this. If you want that full-length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdynightly. But if you don't, stay here because you're already here. And the video is about to gum gum begin. Let's go, One Piece. I can say whatever I want about him. Oh, so Buggy's already on the flashily thing. Why is their pirate captain like the douchiest guy at your local club? <laughs> so Buggy committed to the red nose thing real early, huh? It's a choice. Have an aesthetic, you know? <laughs> Even uses flashily in his own head. <sighs> Is this like an enemies to lovers plotline? Are Buggy and Shanks gonna end up together? That's cute. I can dig that. <laughs> They're literally just on a date. This is so cute. I thought maybe the nose came from his devil fruit, but he's just wearing a red nose. The devil fruits make it so you can't swim. Oh, wow, that is a very convincing fake. Why are you a pirate going to like set deck for a movie studio or something? Interesting. It seems like people who eat devil fruits should die all the time though, because they're on like pirate ships. Like, if you get sunk, you're, you're screwed, right? <laughs> who needs to swim when you can fly? Is he about to kick him in the balls while he's flying? But he <laughs> No matter the superpowers, all men have the same weakness. I love that these people just have like regular modern clothes on. Except that that guy's in some weird 1970s Andy Warhol shit, but like the pirates are all so like flashily dressed and normal people in this world are just in like, you know, polos. I, I now kind of want like, I hope there's an arc of this that's just like a slice of life of what it's like to be a normal person in this world looking at these fucking clown ass pirates. That makes you a pirate, Nami. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to hear this, but... Oh, Buggy is not okay. Oh, he turned into wheels of cheese. All right. 
Is there like a maximum distance he can go? <laughs> this is so weird. Feet for free, I guess, but like, whoa. <laughs> Buggy's telekinetic ability to move his own body is very strange. It's the final round of the boss. He's leveled up. Oh, wow. She can tie me up real quick. That's, um, interesting. I was kind of hoping Buggy was going to join the crew. I'm not going to lie. He's fun. But since he blasted off again, like Team Rocket, I'm assuming he's coming back. Hey, goal number one complete. I'm never joining a pirate crew, but okay. That's fine. ごめん。その <laughs> yeah. I thought he might try and explain, but no. Nah, this is more fun. Oh, I like this one. Oh, there they go again. I'm gonna get you, Luffy. <laughs> this is another great theme song. Not theme song, but you know what I mean? Like backing track. This feels like a Disney ride again. There's a lot of like Disney-esque music in the show and it works really well. Yeah, Luffy, you can't swim. So I would maybe get a bigger ship. <laughs> Pirate Hunter Zoro? No! The show's a little predictable, but not in a way that I don't enjoy. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a little bit ahead of it on some things. But it's fun enough that, like, I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. <laughs> Is this the mayor's villain arc? Is he about to become a bad guy? Oh, that's the sound of his armor. I thought that like clanging was the sound. Like they were like trying to make him be like, he's so old. He has like glass in his knuckles. <laughs> you maybe didn't need to beat him up, you know, but like he kind of did the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of like the end of arc one right that feels like a like button moment for an arc that's interesting the three of them are together they have some money there's even like a post credit scene kind of moment here Oh shit, if you read the manga, that was probably really cool. <laughs> Is there no, it said to be continued, so there's no post-credit scene. Alright. Um I don't I don't know what that guy is at the end there. So Yeah. Um, I, I wish that I had watched this with the other buggy stuff, uh, because I, I didn't realize that it was like one more episode to finish kind of the arc. Uh but a fun arc. 
a good time. Um, you know, it it is interesting. I thought they were gonna let Luffy have the win against Buggy kind of more naturally, but instead having Nami join in to help with that is an interesting choice. You're kind of building the crew a little bit more organically by having it be through actions rather than just like, oh, you're the main characters, you have to do this together. And there obviously there's a little bit of that, but the, every show has that, right? Um, but, you know, having it be this moment of like, you know, Luffy gets kind of a victory moment and then Buggy comes back and then they have to work together to overcome the final moment. Just brings them a little bit closer and allows them to have that like character growth as a unit that I think really works. Yeah, I I'm so curious where we're headed now. Like this felt, I thought this was going to go on a little bit longer. Obviously the title said, who's the victor? Like I, I kind of figured that like maybe there was going to be a victory, but now they have a map of the Grand Line, which is something, um, a place, I'm assuming, because it's a map. Uh, they they have a little bit of money. Maybe they can get a ship, you know, like they, they can kind of head into the next whatever section of the show is. But at the same time, I, I don't know what that is. Like, it's so it's so interesting. The show has this larger narrative, right? We have to go find the One Piece. And I know that they haven't done that. And they're on episode like 1000 whatever. And so it's not like they're going to go figure that out in season one. And so, or if there are seasons. So it's, it's interesting right now where like they could go anywhere and meet anybody. And I'm excited for that. Like I'm having fun. So let's get into the next episode. Uh, this is going to be episode nine, The Honorable Liar. I'm very excited for whatever that is. I don't know why this is my go-to One Piece move. But this is like how I feel at the top. Like I'm paddling my own little pirate ship. You know what I mean? What I will say about One Piece, globally, after eight episodes, it is a show that knows exactly what it is. And I love that. I love feeling like the show is so aware of the implications of its tone and what that allows it to do and what that where that draws its lines. And I, I think it is so, so, so successful at being what it is telling the audience that it is while also having surprises and fun and like the, the like unexpected as well. And it just, it is, it's very cool. I, I want to meet this guy. Hey, he was in the post credit scene. This is too serene and peaceful. Something chaotic is about to happen. In the town of Pallet Town, Ash Ketchum is about to wake up and start his 11th or 10th birthday. I haven't watched Pokemon in a while. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Captain Usopp. Captain Usopp. Is that Captain Usopp? No, Captain Usopp would have a ship, right? They're going to get Ed Sheeran from season eight of Game of Thrones. Or seven. I can't remember. Is he freaking out about their dinky little ship? Okay. They finally found a character more unhinged than Luffy, I guess. Sure, dude. Oh,おはようございます。キャプテンウソップ。ウソップ海賊団誕生しました。オッケー。はい、騒いでんだあいつ。大変だ、大変だ。大変だ。海賊団。But he's talking about actual pirates. Good joke. So Buggy's kind of famous. Buggy's like a little well-known. What the fuck is happening? Is Luffy about to beat the shit out of those kids? Because I don't know how I'd feel about that. In the R-rated adult version, Zoro just murks these kids. Oh wow, he crumbles so fast. If you're gonna be lie, 
Commit a little. I mean, first of all, tell a slightly smaller lie. You got like 50 people, you know, viable number, maybe 35. There's three of them. But then if you're if they call you out, don't immediately crack. <laughs> Nami's got that x-ray vision. <laughs> Is he about to bounce that slingshot right back at him? Oh no, Usopp, you're about to take it on the nose. <laughs> they really did give Shanks and Luffy like similar faces, and I'm like, is Shanks Luffy's dad? I do like that Luffy and Zoro are already at that point where they're like on the same page about fucking with this guy. I don't think they're being serious, you know? I don't think they're actually going to murder them, but... I could be wrong. This show could take a wild left turn, and I would be very surprised. <laughs> the thing is, it feels like they're building Captain Usopp to join the crew, and I don't know what he brings to the table that they would need. Does everyone in the world know fucking Shanks? First of all, he has his name on his forehead band. Second of all, he looks nothing like his son in any way, shape, or form. The, he could not look less like his supposed child. I was expecting it to be like you saw older or something. That is a different man with a different everything. Usopp's exaggerations will be too much for you to handle. He's gonna lie to you and it's gonna kill you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Convenient. Why would Usopp leave this gorgeous lady who clearly wants him in her bedroom? If Usopp joins Luffy, I'm gonna be very confused. He's got a good thing going here. That's very sweet. It's gross. Like, I can't imagine stepping on goldfish poop, but like, that was very sweet. These three kids are gonna get killed. I'm telling you right now, they're fucked. That was very funny. Oh, Jesus. And she's had depression. Oh, my God. This is very sweet. Hi. Hi, we'd like to take credit for Usopp helping you, even though we are not friends with him. <laughs> gum gum part in the intrusion. <laughs> and that was how Luffy killed those kids. Not on purpose. The bush saved them. They're fine. Zoro? Zoro's fucked. But the kids are fine. They landed in a bush. Is that Usopp's? Is that Yasa? Alright. 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 Let's get into it. They don't look alike at all. I'm sorry. Luffy's like, you, you look just like your dad. No. 
No, nothing, not, nothing the same. But false bill of goods. Uh, that's fun. I, I really like that Usopp is the, like this like really sweet dude who just seems to be like a good guy. He lies, but like he's annoying. But I know, being annoying isn't evil. Being annoying isn't bad. I mean, it, I, I don't like it. You know, like I don't want to deal with annoying people. But he's got like a heart of gold. Uh, it was a very fun introduction to a character. I'm not sure I understand because it seems like he's being set up to join the crew. And I'm not sure I understand how I'm supposed to be on board with that. Like, it seems like he should stay here and keep doing what he's... He seems to be like, he needs to figure out how to be the best version of himself in this town. And that feels like a whole other storyline. Um, but maybe they end up with a reason why he has to leave or something because of this goes poorly or whatever it is. Um, or she's like, you've you've done... I'm, I'm healed now because you've done so much for me. And then that's why he's able to like leave but it feels like they've set up a storyline where like if he were to like walk away now i'd be like yeah but that poor girl <laughs> you kind of started something you didn't finish and if you're gonna be with the lady you gotta finish uh anyway no bad joke Ugh. this show's fun this show is fun i like a lot i like Usopp. i don't like like him i find him very annoying but i like the twist with him of him like lying to make this girl happy so I think I'm going to like Usopp, you know? I do kind of like that everyone knows Shanks. <laughs> like, they, they keep going to, like, these, like, different islands and everyone is connected to Luffy through someone. I wonder if that just is, like, a running gag throughout the show that Luffy kind of has a friend of a friend everywhere around the Grand Line. I still don't know what that is. It's a line of some kind. Is it like the equator? Is the Grand Line what they call the equator in this world? And so like the closer you get to the equator, it's like where the Caribbean, because the Caribbean's near the equator. Is that like the idea that like the closer you get to the center, the, the it's a planet where like the closer you are to like the center ring, the more dangerous the pirates are. And they're like up north or down south somewhere right now. That would make sense. But then why would you need a map of like the middle of the planet? I don't know. It's a good show though. That was fun. That's another two episodes. We'll be back next week. Um, I'm I'm like weirdly, I didn't expect it, but I'm really interested in Shanks. I, I think it's because he connects everyone. And honestly, the buggy Shanks flashback from the previous episode was really cool. So I, I think that like, I, I want to be like super invested in Luffy's storyline because I, I do find what Luffy's doing fun. But there's a lot of these questions around Shanks and the backstory and like how we got here that are starting to almost be more interesting to me. Not in a bad way. I like all the, sh I'm, I'm really enjoying the show, but like Shanks right now, the mystery around him, I'm having a lot of fun with. And the way that they're doling out the information for that, I think it's actually like really well done. So this is, this is cool. Uh, I like the show a lot. It makes me happy. And that to me is everything. I need a, I need a happy show right now. And One Piece kind of just is that. My vibes are always good when I'm here. And so we're going to stay here every Thursday uh, for now. People are like, you got to do more in order to finish a show. And I'm like, I know. I don't have time to record more right now before we leave for Atlanta. But um, may maybe one day we'll go to four a week. Maybe one day we'll go to e every day. Probably not. That's a that seems like a crazy amount of One Piece to watch. But for now, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below because Algorithm God is hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is still Nami, because Nami is Nami, and I think she was the only woman who spoke on the show. Uh, if you want to follow me around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly, uh, but uh, other than that, I don't know. Do something nerdy tonight. Bye.